With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's check a question. So here the question is that the match the following in list one with the list two and select the correct option. Okay, so here we are first we will discuss each A, B, C, D part one by one. Okay, so here KP is, is equal to Q. Okay, so Q here represents our reaction question. Okay, it represents our reaction question. And if we talk about the KP, KP is the equilibrium constant in the terms of the partial pressure. Okay, and if we see that here it is given Q is, is equal to KP. So this condition is only possible at the equilibrium point. Okay, it is only possible at the equilibrium when these both will be equilibrium. Well, when these both will be equal, okay. Why at only at the equilibrium? Because equilibrium is the that state, okay, at in which the properties like temperature, pressure, concentration do not change with the passage of the time, okay. So it means that here, okay, because this relation shows the three conditions. This relation shows the three conditions like Q is greater than KP, Q is greater than smaller than kp okay but these two if we talk about the first condition if we talk about the first condition that is the q is, is equal to kp that is possible at the equilibrium q is greater than kp it means that the okay here what will happen here the q will decrease here q will decrease reaction will proceed in backward and when this condition will be there it means the reaction will proceed in forward direction so it means that for a here we have the third one right okay so the next is t is greater than delta h by delta s t greater than delta h upon delta s so here we can take it as t delta s greater than delta h okay we can take it as t greater than t delta s greater than the delta h okay so here what happens is when we have the endothermic reactions when we have the endothermic reactions in that case what happens is when we have this condition or when we have this condition okay endothermic reactions are those reactions in which the heat is absorbed in which the heat is absorbed okay so here the delta g will be negative here our delta g will be slightly negative and the process will be spontaneous process will be spontaneous process and the reaction will be the endothermic reaction because when we have the t delta s greater than delta h okay and the delta g is positive then the reaction is non-spontaneous but that is possible when the reaction is enthalpy driven when the reaction is enthalpy driven it means that here the reaction the process will only occur when the delta h value is large Okay, but here what we have is here the T delta S is positive so that it favors a process and the T delta S is greater than the delta H. Okay, here the process will be favorable for the endothermic reaction and the spontaneity will be there in the process. Okay, it means that here what we will have delta G is negative delta H and T delta S. Okay, so here what we have is spontaneous and endothermic for the b we have the fourth one for the b we have the fourth one okay so if we talk about the next one delta h positive delta s negative now we know that the delta g is, is equal to delta h minus t delta s right here it is given delta h is positive this is negative okay here it will also be then positive minus minus plus here delta h will become positive Okay, because here it will be like this delta G is, is equal to positive here we have minus here we have minus here it will be plus okay overall we will get the positive sign it means that it will be non spontaneous because when the delta G is positive it means we have the non spontaneous process okay so it means that for the C part we have the first option okay now it is given that the q is negative for the isothermal process yes if we talk about the first law of thermodynamics it says delta u is, is equal to q plus w for the isothermal process what we have is temperature constant so that way delta u also becomes zero that is the change in internal energy at that point q is, is equal to minus w 
okay q becomes the negative q becomes negative okay so here our answer will be d for the d1 what we have is for the d we have the second okay so let's see here we have a3 b4 c1 okay here it is d for the d we have the second so it means this one is our correct answer this one is our correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today